Once at one of my workouts, I couldn't decide for myself what I should do to train my glute muscles. Unfortunately, YouTube didn't live up to my expectations, because there were only a few videos on this topic, which didn't give me an unambitious answer. And then I decided to make a list of 10 popular exercises, which I ranked based on the criteria of importance for muscle hypertrophy, safety, good contraction and stretching, and the ability to make a constant progressive overload. Let's start with the machined hip thrust. The advantages here are the following due to the fact that the machine keeps you in one trajectory and a large area for setting the feet and at the same time you are not fixed, it's very convenient to find a comfortable position and range of motion. Well, and in addition to this, because the weight is fixed in the axis of machine, the stabilizer muscles are turned off, and therefore it's easy to focus on the glute muscles and get maximum contraction. And also thanks to this, it's convenient to make a safe progressive overload, which is the main factor of muscle growth. As we can see, there are no disadvantages in this exercise, and that's why I will send it in the top and ideal exercises. Deep barbell squats are an exercise that is advised by old school athletes as the main and basic exercise for glutes growth. And indeed, you can do a constant progressive overload. Also, thanks to the full squat, you get a good stretch at the lower point. Well, this is the main safety disadvantage, because not everyone has an anatomical good stretch of the knees and lower back, which can lead to great injury risk in the future, especially with heavy weights, as confirmed by these 2013 meta-analyses. In addition, another study by unknown scientists showed that any squat, no matter how far back you put the pelvis and deep squat from, because of the large range of motion in the knee joint, will involve the quadriceps and only a small percentage of glutes. But here it's clear and without scientists, according to biomechanics, of course. On this basis, deep squats go to the category of normal exercises for glutes. By the way, our next exercise is very similar in biomechanics of muscle activation of squats. It's a leg press with high leg placement on a platform in a similar manner, which according to fitness gurus perfectly involve the glutes. Although this is a safer movement if the technique is correct, of course. Even with more weight than squats, still the main work is taken by the quadriceps of your chicken legs. And no matter how you put your feet on the platform, the glutes work here for a maximum of 10%, which is not essential for the growth of the glutes and posterior chain hips muscles. Therefore, we send this exercise to the terrible exercises. But in Bulgarian split squats, the situation is different. And here, thanks to the strong body incline, we can really emphasize the glute muscles. Here we have the opportunity to do with a large range of motion and get a good stretch and contraction of your glutes. But the devil is in the details as always. First of all, it's hard to catch the balance and beginners or people with bad joints we will not be able to concentrate on the glutes, and this is a disadvantage in terms of safety. And the second disadvantage is the increased load on the knee joint, which can lead to injury over time, and it's difficult to increase progression overloads. In addition, 15% of the load is taken up by the quadriceps, 2 minus 2 pluses, which means this exercise ranks in the normal case. Next we have the Romanian deadlift. It's safer for the Lola bag than the classic deadlift, provided the weight is correctly selected and this is the first advantage. The second thing is that you don't work the quadriceps, but the whole posterior chain of leg muscles is well engaged. If you bend your knees slightly, most of the load will be shifted to the glutes, if you straighten them, it will be more on the hamstrings. At the same time, there is a quite a good contraction of muscles. There are no problems with the progression overloads here either. And in principle, as for me, there are no disadvantages here, so I will send RDL to the ideal best exercises. The next exercise is loved by Insta girls, and as you guessed, this is the step up version. Here I found only one plus, it's an incredible long range of motion with good stretching and contraction, but at the same time it's also a minus. First of all, even though you are holding on to the support, it's easy to lose your balance, which is not safe. The slice loss of balance and is at least a sprain in the ankle, we just crash from this box down. 
and hopes for a juicy butt dissolve on the way to the doctor. And of course, because of all this, you will not be able to lift a lot of weight and make any progression of lots, and therefore you will not see muscle growth. Therefore, only because of one safety disadvantage, this exercise is sent to the bottom of the worst grave. What should I do if I don't have a hip thrust machine, but I want to do a hip thrust anyway? No problem. Find any elevated surface, barbell, and we'll do the barbell hip thrust. Here you can make a good progressive overload, not worse than in the machine. And at the same time, this exercise is safe for your back muscles, and even useful. And compared to the machine, it's more free and at the same time a big range of motion with a good contraction of all glute muscles bundles. But there are downsides, because it's free weight to keep your balance, especially with a heavy barbell. Part of the load is dissipated on the stabilizer muscles, core and lumbar muscles. And second, it's very difficult without a partner to lift a really heavy weight from the bottom point. So, we'll put this exercise in the good exercises. If you don't have not only a hip thrust machine but even a bench, then you can do a glutes bridge on the floor, which will also coolly include your own glute muscles and have the same pluses at the same time. Unlike the hip thrust, it's easy to lift the weight from the bottom point and do with a heavier weight. But the position of the barbell is a bit awkward, because of which it's always trying to roll down which can be unsafe but not crucial. In spite of this, because of this, it will go into good exercises. What about the poppy vocabulary leg extensions? This exercise really targets at the gluteus maximus and engages mainly the large gluteus muscle with a good and precise contraction. Well, this is an isolation exercise, and unlike basic exercises, you can do it with heavy weights, which means you can create a normal progression overloads for muscle growth. Therefore, this movement falls into the level of normal exercises. And of course, we couldn't pass by such an exercise a MAM sitting leg abductions. This is the maximum safe exercise. Here is a good and understandable contraction. Even if you try to do it wrong, you will still hit the glutes, but only the small gluteal muscle is engaged, which by the way helps well as a stabilizer in base exercises. But the large glute muscles doesn't work, and that's why, even if you do it with heavy weight, it is ineffective for all part of glute muscles in general. So just for the fact that this exercise is good as an additional exercise, I will put it in the good exercises. Guys, I recommend to watch my another video with chest ranked to your list. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.